Hey everyone, in this video I will explain to you how we can make this vertical split screen effect for Instagram Reels, TikTok and YouTube Shorts. For my example, I'm gonna use these 5 video footages that I got from Pexels. I'm gonna drag them and I'm gonna import it in my media timeline. And as of right now, everything is on video slot number 1, so I'm gonna move every video on above each other. So I'm gonna move it to video slot number 2, 3, 4 and 5. Just like that, I'm gonna stack it over each other. And when I finish stacking them up, I'm making sure that they're having the same length. I'm gonna make every one of these videos about 5 seconds long. So that's why I'm gonna cut every video as long as it's reaching out of that 5 second mark. It's around here. So I'm gonna press Ctrl B, I'm gonna razor cut it. Now my 5 videos is having exact the same length. When we got this out of the way, we can continue with the other step. And that is going in our media pool. In your media pool you have to find your timeline, in my case it's right here, you can see that it's written timeline 1, then you can right click on it, select timeline and then go to timeline settings and in the first page which is the format you can uncheck this field which says UXC project settings and then you can check on use vertical resolution, that way you're gonna change your timeline resolution and by default mine is set it on 1920 to 1080 on HD and now it's flipped to 1080 to 1920 also you can change the mismatch resolution and change it to scale entire image to fit another thing that you can check is going into your output and you can select the use timeline settings for output scaling that way your resolution will be also exported in the same way that you're adding it in the Vinci Resolve when we get these important settings out of the way, we can continue with the split screens. At this moment you're seeing my first clip on my timeline on video slot number 6. That video is in front of everything else. So that's why you're seeing just one video at the moment. But that's gonna change. So we need to go in effects library and then we need to add an adjustment clip. So I'm typing adjustment clip in the search bar and going in the toolbox. And then dragging and dropping my adjustment clip on video slot number 6 which is on top of all of my clips. Then I'm typing grid and I'm going to open effects and I'm leaving that grid over my adjustment clip. I'm also making sure that my adjustment clip is covering the length of my videos. Then I'm highlighting this adjustment clip and I'm going into the effects. And on the first side, we can see there's a roll cells and we need to select the number of videos that we're gonna work with. In my case, we're having five videos. So I'm leaving values of five on the first one. On the columns I'm leaving a value of 1, which is the minimum values there. And moving on to major line spacing, we're gonna leave it either on 0, that way we're keeping a thin line of borders, or you can leave it on values of 1, which is having again borders, but they're just a little bit thicker. It's all depending on your preferences. In my case I'm gonna use the values of 0. And then you can pick a color, you can leave it red, green, but in my case I'm gonna leave it on white, which is the default color but you can pick anything you wish, click on OK and continue with the other steps. Next, when we got this out of the way, we can select the video on video slot number 5, which is the video that you're gonna be seeing in the front. Once it's highlighted, you can go to the inspector and you can change the values of position Y, which is up and down. So in order to move this video footage up, we need to increase the values of Y. So I'm increasing it until I see it fitting in the first frame of our borders on the top. And when I'm sure that my video is in the center of that top border, I'm stopping increasing the values of position Y. As you can see now, I'm having a tiny bit of the bottom side of that video, so I need to corp it in order to leave some space for my second video. So I'm increasing the values of corp bottom until it covers everything in the first slot and nothing on the second one. Next, I'm highlighting my video slot number four video, and again, I'm increasing the values of position Y until it fits my center of that frame. In this case as well, there's a tiny bit of extended bottom side. So I'm gonna increase the values of core bottom so that it can fit just in that slot. Then I'm selecting my third video, which is on video slot number three. And that video is actually in the center. So it almost doesn't need any adjustments. I'm gonna lift it just a tiny bit and just like others I'm gonna increase the values of corp until it's not covering the next slot. Then I'm selecting my pre-last video which is on video slot number 2 and this time I'm gonna decrease the values of Y because this time I'm gonna need to move it on the bottom side 
and now the same case we need to corp the bottom so i'm increasing the values of bottom corp and now moving to our last video which is on video slot number one i'm highlighting it again i'm going in the inspector and i'm decreasing the values of position y so i can bring it down and see it on my last slot and for this last video you actually don't need to corp any bottoms because it's the first video so you can just center it in the position without corping the bottom and now as i play it through this is what you're having a nice vertical split screen effect with borders that you can use for any kind of videos and also if you don't want to use these borders if you want to keep it clean like this you can delete the adjustment clip or you can disable it and export it as it is by original footages but although it's gonna help you split it evenly so if you don't like using it you can always keep it until you split the videos and after you split the videos you can remove the borders if you don't like them and if you want to make your split screens even better here are some extra sauce that you can use here is how you can make a jump cuts on your split screen i'm moving forward in my timeline by pressing the right arrow of my keyboard three times to skip three frames and then i'm moving my videos forward leaving just three frames in between the videos and now i'm going in the end of that videos i'm making them with the same length as every other that way i'm gonna make my videos showing up just like this and if you don't want to use these borders while making these jump cuts you can also remove the borders and make it look like this so if you don't want to use the borders just delete this adjustment clip and there you have it also another thing i'm gonna mention is that if you want to keep and making these split screens and save it as a preset you can also do that you can just import your adjustment clip on your timeline then you can highlight it you can go back to effects library and then you can add that grid effect which is in open effects once you added that grid on your adjustment clip you can go to the effects again and you can set it up let's say for example five videos the ones that we just did right now you can select the columns and leave it on one and you can make the values of major line spacing on zero you can pick your color and once you're ready you can go in your media pool and then you can find your power bins which is the master if you don't see it you can click on these three dots here and you can enable show smart bins make sure that this one is enabled and then you can open your master then go to your adjustment clip highlight it go to file in the inspector and change the name to let's say split five videos now this file is with another name i'm gonna drag it i'm gonna leave it in my master which is in the power bins then i'm highlighting this adjustment clip again and this time i'm leaving a values of four on the row cells this is in case i'm gonna use it for four videos so i'm renaming it this one to split four videos and i'm also dragging it into my power bins and another one with the row cells values of three i'm changing the name to split three videos and i'm also dragging it into my power bin and this is in case I'm using three video split screens. And that's a way how you can save your power bins. And in case you want to work with split screens in the future, you can just go to your power bins, into your master, and just grab the videos that are saying split three screens, four or five, depending on with how much videos you're gonna work with. And as you can see, they're already saved up and split up and ready for some videos to go in that frames. Just remember before you're putting your videos, to change your timeline resolution to vertical. You can also watch this video right here. I'm showing another split screen effects that you can use in DaVinci Resolve. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.